Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys are doing well. If you're new here, I'm Nelorang and today I have a new sit down video for you guys. So this video has been long requested and I'm so sorry that it took me so long to finally sit down, um, film it and then upload it for you guys. But it's here now and I hope you guys enjoy it and watch till the end. So in this video, as you guys have read from the title, I'll be sharing my tips and tricks on how I did well in my matric. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video and please watch till the end because I'm pretty sure it's going to be really helpful and you can get something out of it. So with that, all of that being said, let's get straight into the video. And I know when this video comes out, you guys are going to be done with the media exams. So hopefully you can apply these tips for the trial exam and also the final exam. So as you're having this little holiday, you can just try these tips out and see how they work for you. Okay, so another thing, just a little bit of a disclaimer before we get right into it. So I just want to say that these tips that I'm about to share, they are what worked for me and they might not work for you and that's totally okay. It means that you just have to find what works for you. And if you have a system that already works for you, then that's fine. Just watch the video and maybe you could learn something from it. I don't know, but then that's all I just want to say and let's get right into tip now. Okay, to kind of share a little background on my metric experience. So I completed my metric in 2022 and I was doing seven subjects. So I was doing physical sciences, life sciences, mathematics and geography. I was also doing CPD home language, English first additional language and life orientation. So to kind of like share my progress um, throughout the year. So we had four terms and the first term I was able to get six distinctions and a one level six which was in English first additional language that happened from term one, term two and term three. I got the same result and each term my average was decreasing by one percent. So term one was like eighty seven, term two eighty six and then term three eighty five percent. So that was like where I was ranging throughout the year. But then in the final examinations, I was able to do exceptionally well and was able to obtain all seven distinctions with 100% in mathematics. So that's kind of how my background is with my metric. And I'm just going to show you guys how I was able to get these results and maybe some tips that can help you guys to achieve the same things or even more. So, yeah. Okay, so now let's get started with the tips and please stay till the end Especially if you want to see what I was able to achieve with all these tips that I'm about to share because it's some pretty awesome things So yeah, watch till the end Okay, so tip number one which was the most helpful and like the most important if you are gonna take anything out of this video It's probably to take out this tip. So the tip is to do lots and lots and lots and lots of past papers trust me they are that important like very important especially in high school if you even if you're doing grade 11 whatever grade you're doing past papers is the key but in metric it's the key like it's the key it's the key just trust me on that so when you do past papers my tip is to do all the national past papers so i would most likely focus on like from 2017 going up but if you also want to do those other years definitely can because with high school how they um, they how they normally structure their papers is the same way they just try to fiddle around with the questions to like kind of make it in a trickier way look like it's something you haven't seen before but it's something you definitely know just not in a way that you would have imagined but yeah guys past papers are the had the way to do well in your metric exam like it's the only way not the only way but then <laughs> it's what really helped me so um what i used to what i used to get my past papers i used um there are these apps you can find in play store so i used um i'll put them on the screen because i kind of forgot their names but i used them as to get all the provincial past papers Oh, and speaking of provincial past papers, I know I mentioned doing national past papers, but also past papers like um, provincial past papers are really important. And um, the ones that I found that are helpful were from Eastern Cape and also KZN. But you shouldn't limit yourself to those provinces only. Do all of them. 
not do as much as you can before you write and then when you do your past papers what i did is i would like i would take like an exercise book and i would let's say let me make an example with life sciences okay so i would take an exercise book and i would um allocate that exercise book for doing life sciences past papers only okay so when I, every time i did a past paper i would just write the year that i um that i'm doing the province that i'm doing it from and then I would answer the past paper, all of it, or maybe I would answer like section A, then section B, and then look at the memo and kind of like um, mark for myself. Then when I mark for myself, obviously there are going to be some questions where you kind of get them wrong, where you kind of like um, misinterpret the question or something like that. So whenever that happens, I would write with the great pen to kind of like, um, in this question, I write it like this, but then it's not how it's supposed to be. So you kind of like correct yourself and then in a red pen that pen that's like different from what you wrote with so that when you come to like revise you can see where you did mistakes and it can kind of focus on those key points because if you make a mistake and then you correct yourself it's easier to remember what you did wrong and then kind of like correct yourself in the exam as well okay so from um as i was saying i must write it in little exercise book then let's say maybe it's like a week or maybe three days before the exam you go through your exercise book again and then you look at the points where you wrote in read and then you kind of like check what you did wrong kind of like correct yourself and i'm pretty sure when you go through that exam you'll find that like maybe like 75 percent of the questions are like similar or the same as the ones that you did like that's how likely and that's how important past papers are okay. okay my other tip is to okay so guys i'm sure you guys have already had tests i'm not sure if you're gonna have tests in term three but every time you like have a test you have class tests or anything like that obviously okay not obviously but it's possible that you make mistakes I don't know how but it's possible that your mistakes happen okay so when that happens during the test maybe you misread the question then you get the, your answer script and you're still like oh this question i didn't read it properly all those things so those kind of like mini mistakes when you do them just write them down in your little notes and see okay in life science i have this tendency of like not reading all the questions throughout because yeah i used to do that as well last year maybe you read it too fast and did not understand it maybe you skipped a question not knowingly like by mistake you kind of like write those things down to like when you go through it says you look at those mistakes that you made and like okay i did this and this and this and this so every time you go through a test you'll be like oh in that test i made a mistake of doing this and this and this and then when you're in the test you keep in mind of what you did of what you did wrong and then you can correct it in the test so that's a good way to kind of like um remember your past mistakes because I used to make a lot of mistakes in that test and like it's like one of those stupid mistakes and then when you get your answer script you see like I could have gotten this question like I know what the answer to this is I just misread it or I just took it too lightly or I just wrote too little information so yeah those kind of things happen and I didn't write them down so I would make the same mistakes again because I kind of like forgot what I did wrong so yeah just my tip write down your mistakes that you can correct them in future exams okay another tip that i have for you guys is to um stay up to date with your work um i know you've had a lot of this and you'll be like yes i hear that i know that but how okay so my tip is to actually like never wait for your teachers to do something and then you do it just okay so the thing is like you guys are in a trick you don't have time to waste to sit around and wait for your teacher to come and teach things are busy they are busy with other classes and all those things sometimes they may not even make it to class and you can't just sit there and say our teacher ended with let's say ended with protein synthesis and i can't start the next topic like no you can't do that to yourself don't don't even try okay so my advice is let's say you finish you finish a topic um instead of waiting for your teacher to begin the next topic what you do is you go by yourself i don't know what resource you use I'll, I'll actually share some resources later on 
but all you do is you go sit down look at the top page just read it and if you read something and it doesn't make sense don't get upset just continue reading continue reading just finish the whole topic read it again and then after you're done reading for the first time you take out your notebook if you make notes which i did i made notes for physics life sciences and geography so yeah i'll um, say more about that later but then you take um, whatever notes book you write your notes in you go down read the topic again then this time you make kind of like annotations like things you notice and all those things then you write those kind of key things down and then you kind of like write questions on things you don't understand or sub topics you don't understand and then you write them down and then what you can do next is you go to the past papers again and you look at that topic specifically then you look at the kind of questions you they usually ask because you can't just read the whole topic if you don't know the question then you're doomed if, this is just the honest truth if you don't know how the questions are gonna come or how they usually come then you don't so basically just go to the past papers look at the format of their question maybe some topics they don't wanna like know i don't know how to explain it maybe some topics they usually focus more on the structures and their functions some topics they focus more on the process itself like those kind of things just look out to like what they assess in that topic and then when you look at that when you go back again to doing that topic again then you can kind of focus on those things like okay in this topic they are more likely to focus on this but be careful and don't overlook the other things that they don't usually focus on because they can change it around anytime they have the ability to do that so yeah okay and then when you do that let's say you're done with that topic you've done all of that and then you can if you feel like you can you can go and attempt the questions and kind of like look at how they're doing them before or you, I don't know when you have time for this when your teacher teaches okay so when you go to class and then your teacher's doing that topic you already know what they're talking about guys there's nothing harder than attending a class where they're teaching something you have no idea what they're talking about I'm in university right now and I can tell you that it's the worst like it's the worst because it feels so pointless like why am I here when I can't even understand what they're talking about so when you've done the topic you can like keep up with what they're saying and then you kind of like add new information to what you already knew you can like you can even find answers to the questions that you wrote that you didn't understand you can like find answers to those and that's a good thing then when your teacher gives you assessments to do you're already covering that topic and then you can ask questions on things you didn't understand so yeah and then um another thing is when a teacher does a topic when you go back home then just relax and say okay we are done with this topic tomorrow we are starting with this instead go over the work that you did for the day and kind of like kind of like recall try to learn more and understand more and kind of like make sense put everything together then that's when you can truly see you're done with the topic and move on to the next thing so yeah that's my tip regarding teachers so yeah okay so i know i've been saying a lot about past papers but there are also some things that helped me to kind of like do well in my metric so i also relied on what's this i relied on study guides and youtube videos i didn't really rely much on textbooks if i'm being honest so i'm just gonna share some study guides and youtube channels that helped me a lot okay so because i'm looking down because i read everything in this book okay so for study guides for mathematics i use the kevin smith um study guide i'm sure you guys know it but i use that one for for that one mainly i just used it for when i started topic i just kind of look over it and kind of get an idea on what the topic is about then i can go and attempt past papers and then um, for the YouTube video for mathematics, I used Kevin Maths and Science. It's like this Yeah, it's like this YouTube channel. Uh, it's called Kevin Maths and Science So that as well also helped me to kind of like get the basic of the questioning Because if you really understand the basics and I feel like your cover just Build more on the basics because if you don't understand the basics You can not interpret the questions Okay, and then for life sciences, I used the study guide understanding life sciences and exam fever. 
so I used those two study guides they really 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 helped and I also used um, more YouTube videos I used Miss Angela's YouTube channel and for her I usually like looked at her videos like maybe two days before the exam when I kind of like one just to, like listen to someone say things because sometimes when you listen to someone speak those things they are like easier to understand that you sitting down and reading the whole textbook or your whole notes yourself so having that to just kind of like put it in my headphones and listen while i'm doing something kind of like catch something new and i also liked her like uh what's this her analyzing of past papers and kind of like predicting what will come in past papers and then for geography okay so our okay we used the platinum textbook which wasn't helpful in my case i didn't really find it helpful at all so the thing that helped me a lot like for geography guys if you like for like guys you guys need the side guide ne? for geography what i would like recommend for geography the study guide that i used that saved my geography career it's the excel study guide like this study guide guys it's top tier it has everything because one thing about geography guys the answers like just look at the past papers and see the what's this kind of like see the technique that they use if you look at the question and then you look at the memo then you look together at the past paper and then you look to a similar question and then look at the memo the chances that they are the same are like very high so like for geography they kind of like do that so the um, you can understand the sequence of the question and the memo there's like they provide like a whole paragraph of answers like so many answers that you feel like you feel overwhelmed like yo do I have to know all of these absolutely not just know maybe like three or four because they have those in a paragraph of approximately eight lines those kind of things just know four points it will be okay just choose the easiest one geography like guys geography is easy ne? the only difficult thing is if you don't do past papers it will be difficult for you because if you do past papers you understand like these questions they ask them like this then the answers are always similar guys they're always similar so the youtube videos i used for i used geography with dave it's a youtube channel about a south african teacher i think i think i'm not sure yeah so he also i also like listen to his, his videos when i'm just chilling just putting my headphones in just listen and kind of like get more information when i it's kind of like an overview of everything that's in the textbook and more more so you kind of like if you don't feel like going to the textbook again just look at his videos it will be okay and then for physical sciences the study guide that i used was the three in one answer series study guide i know it looks kind of thick but it's really helpful i think it's the only study guide that i used last year so yeah i really recommend it and all the questions at the back do them do them because they kind of like give like you like a format on how the question could come out so do those questions at the back and then for for a uh, youtube channel i used mulungi singkosi's youtube channel i also like that he does past papers because sometimes you, you do a past papers and you do a past paper and then you don't understand it and you don't have time to go and ask your teacher to kind of like explain so you can just like june 2018 physical sciences this and this and this and the chances that he made a video out of it are very high so it could be like and find a video about it okay so that's those are the um study guides and youtube channels that were helpful for me and now let's move on to another thing okay so another thing i know you guys are done with your media exams and if i'm not mistaken you guys have already gotten your results i don't know if you've gotten your reports but hopefully you did but then if you did and you didn't do that well don't be discouraged don't be you'll do you you got this like you got this you got this i believe in you just continue on working hard doing past papers asking for help where you can where you feel comfortable doing even sometimes when you don't feel comfortable just push yourself out of your comfort zone guys just go out to that teacher say so you did this topic in class i understood this part this part i don't quite understand ask your teachers for past papers ask 
your teachers for what's this for study guides or extra notes they might have and i know that limpopo doesn't release its final year um past papers so i'm sure your teachers have them so ask your teachers for help ask your teachers for help they will they are more than likely going to help you they all they want to do is see their class pass in this case so how would they hold something back that would that would be able to help you so go out to your teachers ask for help ask for guidance and all those things so don't be scared don't be scared this is your future if they judge you who cares they're not the ones who are gonna go out and apply they've already gotten their degrees even other students guys if they're busy judging you for busy asking questions in class for busy um going to teachers and asking for help guys when you leave that high school probably not even gonna see them again most of them so why would you care about them they're not the ones who are gonna apply they're not the ones who are gonna find work on your behalf you're the ones gonna be there sending applications sending your marks sending certified copies of this and that trying to find this and that they're not gonna be there through all of that so it's you so please stop hearing about other people me personally i'm always the quiet kid but anyways when i wanted help i asked and i got help so that's that's basically what i'm saying okay so yeah that's everything that i have for today okay so that was the end of the tips part of the video and right now i'm just gonna share kind of like the things that i was able to achieve with those results so yeah okay so in term one i was able to get position two is it the just no it's the second yeah in the second i was able to get position two and yeah that was the highlight of term one and also in my school i got position two in the top ten okay so that's what happened in term one and then in term two there were no second awards so we didn't go to that i don't know which position i got but i probably went lower if i'm being honest and then okay so throughout the year in my school i was just position two yeah nah, yeah okay i was position two and then let me lose my train of thought Okay, so in term two, okay, so in term two, we didn't have the second award, so I don't know what position I got. And then in the school top ten, we I got position two. Okay, so that was term two. Okay, so guys, if you go to my school and I say something wrong, guys, and I forgot, ne, correct me if you want to. Okay, so in term three, okay, yeah, in term three, I of course I also got position two in my school, and then. I in the yeah in the what's this in the district in the Mopani district I was able to get position three yeah and then in the second again position three so I moved down a uh, position from position two to position three and then for we also had our okay so in our school I was just position two throughout the year okay so that was the case and then in the we okay so with me being part of the top five in our um in our district i was also given the opportunity to have lunch with our um, second manager so with that being said i had lunch i think i also made a vlog on it so you can check it out so we had lunch with our second manager which was amazing yes it was like an honor to be able to do that so really present so thankful to be able to have experienced that okay so and then we had the final exams route and you know, i remember this day so vividly it was the okay so we got our results on the 20 of january 2023 okay and then on i think on the 18th or the 19th i got a call from a friend they were telling me that we made it to the provincial awards and i was like me provincial awards are you sure and i was like it's fine i'll just hear if the principal calls and this other 
think the 19th i was just no the 18th yeah the 18th i was just lying in my bed and my mom came in my room and she was smiling i was like is everything okay what's going on and she was like the principal called and i was like from that moment i just knew like another answered prayer he comes and then she told me that i was invited to the provincial awards like that was that was the best news okay so i was invited to the provincial awards the provincial awards so you know what that meant i was part of the top 20 of the whole province of the whole limpopo province i made it in the top 20. so with that being so in the top 20 i don't know what position i got but then yes and at that time i didn't okay so sorry about that my camera died but yeah, i went to the provincial award i was awarded for i was awarded a certificate and a, a trophy for 100 percent in mathematics and we also got a bunch of prizes so what was amazing about this it was truly an answered prayer what was amazing about it was um so me and in this other friend of mine from high school we were the only two from my high school were invited to the provincial awards not only that we were the first people in our school to get up um invited to the provincial awards the first people in our district and also the first people in our circuit if i'm not mistaken so yeah those we were the first people so it was truly amazing to be part of that in this case it was truly amazing okay so after that there was also that's this municipality awards and at those municipality awards i forgot the awards that i got but then yeah got those awards and then i also was awarded a full bursary like i didn't have anything else so i was awarded the 